What is up guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day, and on this channel I talk about cybersecurity. This video is going to be a quick recap of my 2021 in hindsight. I kind of going over my cybersecurity journey over the last 12 months. I was supposed to do this video in August when I clocked exactly 12 months as a cybersecurity professional, but that was a period where I was kind of on a hi hiatus on social media as well as uh, my pause from making YouTube videos. However, I decided to just make this video since it's the end of the year and it's a good time to reflect over the past year and over some things that have really stuck out to me that um, I think are worth mentioning. So over the last year, I've been able to move really far in my cybersecurity career and I've had the most growth I've ever had in my entire teenage career. I started this year as a cybersecurity intern and looking back now, after 12 months, I never really expected to be where I'm at right now. In the last 12 months, I've moved up my career three different times in two jobs, increased my salary by over 500%, achieved six different certifications, started my bachelor's degree, grown my cybersecurity Discord to over 950 members, and almost 7,000 subscribers across two YouTube channels. Now for some, this might not be a lot. However, for me, these are huge milestones and achievements that I'm truly proud of and looking back in hindsight, I think they're worth mention. So this year has been really, really good to me and I'm really grateful for all of the opportunities I've had for growth, for learning, um, and for everything that has really brought me to where I'm at right now. I'm grateful for all of the connections that I've been able to make, all of the relationships I've been able to make with different people in my career and also for all of the time that I failed. This year alone, I was able to land interviews with two companies that I really appreciate a lot and I would have loved to work at. And those companies were CrowdStrike and FireEye. And I didn't get the job at both companies, but I'm truly grateful for the experience I had to at least interview with those companies and to have that experience that I know is going to help me later on in the future. For me, every opportunity I find like that, in any, any experience like that, I take it as a learning opportunity. And whether I get the job or the position or not, for me, I came out of that with a learning experience that I can apply later on in my life. Now, this is not a video to put my achievements in anyone's face or to boast or to just come out here and tell you all of these things I've done. For me, it's an opportunity to encourage people and to uplift other people out there who are pursuing their careers or pursuing cybersecurity. And, you know, I can tell you and from experience, it's not an easy field. It's not a, a field where things just come easy. But for me, I hope this serves as an encouragement to you to keep pushing, to keep studying, um, keep networking, keep creating relationships with people, and just keep moving on, keep moving forward, keep pushing through everything. Because eventually your opportunities are gonna come and if you're ready for them, then they're gonna be ready for you. So for me, every single time that I got an amazing opportunity that worked out, it was because I was ready for that opportunity. And when the opportunity came, I was able to grab that opportunity and move with it. And for the other ones where the opportunities came and I wasn't able to utilize those opportunities properly or I never eventually ended up getting the opportunities, truth be told, I just wasn't ready for those opportunities and it's totally fine. As long as you keep on practice and you keep up, keep on learning, keep on building your skills, keep on making connections and making relationships with people, then eventually the right opportunity is gonna come. And when that opportunity comes, make sure you take it and run with it. And when you run with it, make sure you put in all of your passion and all of your effort into it. For me, this year, I made it a point of duty to put a little of my energy and my passion into my career and into cybersecurity so that I can make the most out of it and make the most out of every opportunity that I had. And every single time that I had the right opportunity, it always worked out well for me. So I hope you do the same. Another thing that I know that helped me a lot this year was being really systematic and analytical about every single decision I had to make in regards to my career. So for me, I had so many decisions to make this year in regards to my career, from transferring from my associates to my bachelors, to choosing either between taking my Intel internship or working at my current company, and several other moments where I had to make some really, really tough decisions at that point in time. And those decisions that I made at that time are part of what have me where I'm at today. So 
I encourage you that at every point in time where you have to make really, really important decisions, make sure you really, really consider all the factors around the decisions before making the decisions. For me, making the decision to pass up an internship from Intel to work at a full-time job that I'm currently at right now eventually turned out to be a great decision. Although I would have been able to work at a really large Fortune 50 or whatever company and gain that experience, I felt like it would have been better for me to just go ahead and just start my full-time career already. And thankfully, I've had a lot of success with that. I also had to choose between either continuing my associates or transferring to WGU to start my bachelor's degree. And I knew that if I was to continue my associate's degree, it was just pretty much going to slow me down and I would have to like spend some t spend time taking certain classes that would just never really apply to my major or apply to my career in any way. But for me, choosing WGU, which had classes and certifications and all of that stuff that were better applicable to my job and to my career was the better decision and obviously it has paid off really well. So really, really being analytical and systematic about all the decisions you make because every little decision you make is a determinant for where you will find yourself in the future. So at every point in time where you have to make some really, really kind of dicey decisions, make sure you really consider all the fact factors, weigh the pros and the cons, and then eventually make the best decision for you that's going to get you to where you want to be or where you need to be. Finally, one of the biggest things that has really helped me this year is just surrounding myself with a community or with people or individuals that encourage me or motivate me to pursue my goals or to just keep at what I'm doing. So surrounding myself with a community of cybersecurity students or cybersecurity professionals or with mentors or with friends that are also pursuing similar goals and friends that we both encourage each other to pursue each other's goals or communities where there's constant encouragement like my discord community so make sure you join link in description but being around people that continue to drive you and push you to be the best version of yourself especially in terms of your career is going to be really important because of those days where you just lack the energy or you lack the motivation to pursue anything or to study or you're just it's just you know some days are just like that having people around you who continue to push you and continue to ignite your drive or your engine for this particular thing that you have a passion for is going to be important so make sure that you surround yourself with those people once again cyber cyberworks academy my discord community is a great place for that and we're always happy to have people come in you can always ask questions or just hang out and chat with like-minded people i'm always there all the time and i engage in conversations with people there so don't be scared to join like it's also a great way to network. You never really know where that could take you. So that's also one thing I recommend doing. 2021 has been quite the year. Um, for me, it has been a really, really challenging year in so many ways um, and for so many reasons, but um, those challenges yielded really good things and I'm super happy about that. 2022 is going to be another amazing year and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, for the first time, like I only know what I want for the first six months of 2022 like i only have planned that far ahead and i think i'll just keep it at that like just plan for the first six months and then after the first six months like i can plan for the last six months because now I'm, i want to take things like a chunk at a time like a time a period of time at a time so um but i'm as i'm planning for the next year for my uh learning for my training for my education my development i'm only going to plan for the first six months and i will be doing a video about that um for my plans for 2022 in regards to career education um as well as youtube and all that stuff so definitely keep an eye out for that and um i hope you will find value in that so to round up the year i only have two major goals um i have to complete this project plus certification for my program in wgu and also, I'm hoping to possibly sit for the blue team level one. I'm not sure if I can sit for it by the end of this year, but I will try to see if I can take the exam by the end of this year. If not, it will be definitely in January. So we'll see how that goes. But between now and December, I will only be focusing on the project plus for my the BG program and the blue team level one, as well as my job, of course. Aside that, I'm not really going to be putting my energy into anything else. Of course, I'm going to be doing 
YouTube and stuff. But come 2022, my plan is to really focus on the cloud. And um, I will be going into that in a, in a different video um, when I talk about my plans for 2022. So like I said, definitely keep an eye out for that. So this video has been a kind of motivational life story sharing kind of video um, or advice kind of video. But regardless of what it is, I hope I was able to pass some messages, messages across and you or whoever out there are able to apply these things and help you in your career um, in cybersecurity or in IT or in tech in general as we're moving into 2022 because obviously you know a fresh start is really a great time to you know have a fresh start and really plan things out and figure out what you really want for yourself especially for the new year so i hope you take these things into considerations and use them in your plans for the new year thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video please be sure to hit the like button and if you're new to subscribe please be sure to subscribe and turn on your not notifications so you can be notified when i drop new videos thank you very much for watching this video i'll see you in the next video